let's talk. What are we gonna talk about today? We're gonna talk about the video I made addressing Rob Zombie. But first, let's say hello to Minnie. She hopes you're having a positive day. So let's get right into the video, shall we? So if you know me, which most of you do that are watching my channel, you know that I love the Munsters. I mean, love the Munsters. And one of the things that I thought was really freaking cool was, uh, I, gosh, it was so many years ago, I saw this interview of Ivan Carlo, AKA Lily Munster's son. And one of the things that he said was growing up when he was super young, uh, he saw that his mom had a lot of books about like vampires and the occult. And when she landed the role of Lily Munster, cause she had quite an extensive career before the Munsters. Um, it was like the role that she was made for. And I really felt that same way when I got to play Ariel in WWE because I always say this, ever since I saw The Lost Boys back in the 80s when I was a little girl, I became obsessed with vampires. And I've always been into them. My sister, we're nine years apart. And when I was a teenager, I used to try to convince her that I was a vampire. <laughs> it was a whole thing. So the fact that I actually got to play a vampire on the reboot of ECW and WWE, I really related once again to Yvonne DiCarlo, which was such a cool thing because I love the Munsters, you know? So I know Rob Zombie is a huge fan. He's not just somebody that's like, oh, let's just redo the Munsters. He's somebody that throughout the years, on his social media or in interviews, he's definitely thrown things out there to tell someone like me that he's a true Munsters fan. And the little tiny details that he's been leaking out throughout this whole thing with filming the Munsters or getting ready to fill the Munsters film that he's doing really told me that maybe this could be a really good film because he knows the details that an average person who maybe has just seen the show a couple times wouldn't necessarily know. And one of them being that, correct me if I'm wrong, but I could have sworn that he posted something about Zombo. And if you don't know who Zombo is, then you're really, sadly to say, not truly a Munsters fan. So I made a video and I said, can someone tell Rob Zombie that it's okay to not cast his wife in every single film? Now, I think a lot of people took it out of context. Maybe I said it too bluntly, but here's what I meant. Before, I'm going to read your guys' comments, by the way, but before I get into that, um, I thought she was really, really great, Sherry Moon and Devil's Rejects, House of the Thousand Corpses. And going back to my Ariel character, I really did kind of blend Drusella from Buffy the Vampire Slayer and Sherry Moon's character as Baby Firefly from House of a Thousand Corpses and Devil's Rejects and kind of blended them together and then added my whole twist to it. Of course, I had that blonde streak in my hair, which was paying homage to Lily Munster, Yvonne DiCarlo herself. So that's kind of how I, I came up with what you guys saw on WWE when I was playing Ariel. I thought she was really, really great. And I also thought when Zombie did Halloween and it was telling the story of Michael Myers when, like, when he was a kid, when she played the mom, I thought that was, she did really great in that too. And it was a different character than the baby Firefly. Had different dimensions to it, different vibes. So I'm not saying that Sherry Moon's a bad actress. I'm just saying that not every actress is gonna fill a certain role. And as soon as I heard that Zombie was gonna be doing the Munsters, I knew he was gonna cast her as Lily Munster. Hey, hey, let's go back to like white zombie slash Rob Zombie videos. She's been in a ton of them and she does really good. Like, I'm not trying to hate on Sherry Moon. I just am saying, I didn't think that she would bring the Lily Munster character to life the way it deserves to be. So let's get into your comments now, shall we? We have someone here who says he's keeping that profit in-house. You're right though. Another comment, a great take right there, especially with the Munster set for September 27th on DVD, Blu-ray Digital. Keep them coming, Shelly. Shelly, would you not love if a, the man, if a man that you are with was so in love with you that he cast you in all his projects? 
what if he couldn't envision any other woman in his art, but only one who holds his heart? I feel you wouldn't mind at all, but I may be wrong. Now, there was a time uh, many moons ago where I was, Minnie, she keeps shaking the camera here. There was a time many moons ago where I was dating somebody who did directing and producing. And there was times where he put me in his projects and I was not the main character at all. And I didn't take offense to it because I knew that I wasn't right for the part. That that part, the person that he chose for it, they were more suited. And it wasn't a competition of who's better or that I had his heart and this girl, like, whatever. It wasn't about that. It's about, I'm an actress and not every role is what you're meant to play. And so I disagree with this because I have been in a situation where I was with somebody that found me as being his muse and used me in a lot, starred me in a lot of what he did, but I didn't take offense when he didn't put me in the main role. Devil's Rejects, I give it a pass since she fit the character, but she doesn't fit many characters she plays. Now, I only know Sherry Moon from House of a Thousand Corpses, um, Devil's Rejects, and the Halloween movie. So I haven't really seen her in any other projects or whatever. So I guess I really can't say much on that. I remember you had a Rob Zombie shirt on when you did the next Elvira. I thought you were great on that show. Thank you. And I did. I did have that Rob Zombie shirt on because I've been a zombie fan for a really, really long time. Um, and I thought it was really cool that I was able to do the search for the next Elvira and I thought it was cool that they let me wear that shirt because they could have been like, oh no, that's licensed or whatever, but I'm pretty sure Rob Zombie wouldn't care. You're right about he has history of doing too many movies already. That new Munster movie looks terrible, like it was made on low budget, not in a real studio, um, with real studio money. Now, when I saw the trailer, that's what made me feel like maybe I was right as far as my opinion goes. Everybody's different. That Sherry Moon wasn't going to make a good Lily Munster. I think it is so cute, the storyline of how Lily and Herman met. I think it's really, really cute. I like that. I like the art direction in it, even though this person's saying that it doesn't seem like they had real Holly. I, I like it. Um, I think it's really zombie-esque and I'm here for it, but I'm just not buying her as Lily Munster. I'm just not. And I want to, and when I watch the movie, I'm going to go into it with an open mind because I don't want to like just have this like, oh, I just reject her. Like maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm going to watch it and maybe she does a really good job and maybe in the trailer it just wasn't highlighting um, her grabbing the essence of Lily Munster. I guess we'll have to see. Been seeing this for years. Can someone tell him to leave the classic Munster show alone? I just also disagree with this. Even if I don't like the film, I think it's cool that Rob Zombie is deciding to take a shot at doing his version of the Munsters. Again, because he is a legit Munsters fan, uh, everyone's vision's different. Not everybody's gonna like everything. That's fine. So I just think it's cool to just kind of put the Munsters out there and more of a mainstream because there's a lot of people who don't even know who the Munsters are. So whether I like the movie or not, I like that he did it, put his vision out there so that others know that the Munsters exist. I thought there was more comments, but I'm not seeing them. Is there a filter on here? Hold on. Newest first. Okay, see, I put newest first and now other ones are popping up. Yeah, then she'll divorce him and take half his money. It's cheaper to keep her. I really don't think that if Rob Zombie didn't put her in the main role, that she'd divorce him. Like, they've been together for a really long time. I don't think it's like that. So I also disagree with that comment. Okay, well, it seems like the rest of the comments are kind of just commenting on my appearance, which, thank you, I appreciate that, but... That's not what I'm here to try and talk about. <laughs> so anyways, I guess we're all going to have to wait and see. We're going to have to wait and see how this film comes out, 
if we're gonna like it or not. Maybe some of us will, maybe some of us won't. Maybe there'll be parts of it that some of us like and not so much like the other, who knows? Comment below, let me know what you think. Do you think you're gonna like it? Do you not care? I don't know. Let's get inter interactive in the comments. All right, until next time, I'm Shelly from Kelly, and I'll be smelling you later. Adios.